Yes, today we will bisect the entire complexity of human behavior into one simple function. How? Well, in order to understand that, we'll first have to understand rationality. In order to actually understand what is rationality and reason, we'll have to play a game. Over here I have three different cards, three different Uno cards. Now, I will just go ahead and remove a five from them, right? I'll put it in my back pocket, so I'll sit here. Now, that I removed the five, can you tell me which one of these is a three? The reasonable and rational answer would be that you have a 50-50 chance, there's no way to guess which one of those is a three. And yeah, that is perfectly reasonable, that is perfectly rational and that is perfectly smart. But at the same time, it is wrong. Now, what people really often get wrong is that they think that this answer was dumb, saying that you have 50-50% chance. It was wrong, but it was smart, because based on all the information gathered, that seemed to have been the case. Humans really often forget that people are not all-knowing, and that they, even with perfect reason, can still make mistakes. One of those examples, the most obvious and common one, is missing knowledge. Exactly that. That's why we'll have to take a look at two different functions. First one, of how humans think their happiness function looks like, and second one, of what it actually looks like. So let's start the simplest example. Simplest example in this case would be normal life. Just normal everyday life. What's its happiness function? Well, its happiness function is pretty much random. The higher up means more happy, lower down means more unhappy. In order to calculate the total happiness of one's life, we just have to get all these ups and subtract all the downs from them. And just like that, we get the total happiness. Now, our goal as humans is to maximize this total happiness, which means it's to reduce the number of downs and improve the number of ups. Yeah, so the happiness of a normal life is just average, mostly. At least that's how people would think. That's what I mentioned in the beginning. But in actuality, over the years, it's becoming, well, better and better. Yeah, our lives are improving, and because of that, our function actually moves up. And it will continue to move on up as technology gets more advanced. So the future actually looks pretty bright. Now it's time to get into some rationality or irrationality examples. My favorite one being jumping in front of the train. Well, let's take a look at this from two perspectives. First of all, the person jumping in front of the train that doesn't know everything in the world. Ah yes, the good old jumping in front of the train case. Should you jump in front of the train to say something that you love? From the point of view of that person, if they don't jump in front of the train, they are going to lose someone or something they truly love. So, for the rest of their life, they will be less happy. Much less happy probably resulting in negative happiness. That's what will happen if they don't jump right from the train. If they will though, they might save this person or they might die trying. And if they die, all the happiness gets reduced to zero, which is better than the negative. But that's only from the perspective of a person that's jumping from the train and they might not know all the information. For example, the fact that their grieving might not be eternal they probably won't grieve forever, and because of that, their happiness function will actually look like this. Yes, this transition will still not be easy, they will be in pain for a long time, but overall, their life is worth a lot. They still have a lot of happiness to live for. That's why even if something that is amazing, doesn't matter if it's a person or if it's a thing, if something that is amazing for you in your life ends, you shouldn't end it, because it's not the end of the world. I know that it sucks to hear that you should be patient in a time like this, but you will be happy. All right, another turn of our rational or irrational game. And let's say walking. Walking in a job you hate, but pays you really well. Should you do it or should you not? Well, on paper it would look like this. On the beginning you would be less happy only to later on be more happy. But in actuality, there is a problem. 
You see, Wolf of Money is not really linear. The more money you have, the less the single unit is worth. So even though $30 might be way more than $10, if we zoom out, you'll be able to see that large quantities of money aren't that really different from each other. And that's the first very important factor in our equation. You see, earning a lot of money seems nice on paper, but in reality, humans really don't need that much money to be happy. Money will not give you happiness nor satisfaction. Money will give you comfort. But comfort is not really a hard thing to come by these days. Here we can see our world population in comparison to the growth. And as you can see, even though our population is going up, our growth is going down. Which means that at some point, human population will stop growing. 11 billion human might never be born. And that on its own is not that good of news, but what is good of news is the second fact, which is the economy. Which is growing. All the time. Apart from a couple of obvious setbacks, it will go up and up. But population which is not growing with economy that is growing means that everyone will get richer. That's why our lives are improving. What right now seems like a decent living 40 years ago would have been a great one. And 100 years ago, it would have been an amazing way to live. That's why having this much money is not really important because comfort really is not that hard to come by and it will be even easier. Satisfaction, on the other hand, is a bit more difficult. And for that, you need a job that you will enjoy. Obviously, some people might find it satisfying to earn this much money, and for them, this might not be that bad of a goal. But you have to be careful. This can really easily turn into an obsession. In, if you're obsessed, then you would be earning money for the sake of earning money, which is really dangerous. Which means that as your obsession progresses, then you will just try to earn more and more money without any more satisfaction because there's still more money to get. Because of that, choose something you can be proud of, not just a number that keeps going up. Well, that's all we had time for today. I'm doing two uploads in one day, so I don't really have the time for more examples, but I suppose you could see where I'm going with this. The basic idea is you in life are going to be way more happy than you think. Because world is an amazing place and it is getting better, much better, unbelievably quickly. So it's not really worth to waste your life. You, it's precious. Use it well. Use it to be happy. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.